But there's a lot of, um, it's, it's created a lot of enemies, so hopefully, you know, Wait, it's, it's bizarre, isn't it, when they're trying to close, close Guantanamo and they've got that problem. Yeah. Yeah. When the guards are murdering prisoners, mentally handicapped prisoners, and getting promoted and pay rises. It's barbaric, isn't it? You know, I, know, I believe prisoners should be punished if you break the law like me. You should serve the time, but there's minimum standard established in the federal court system for prisoners. You have a right to so much sunlight and fresh air. You have a right not to live in an insect-infested environment. You have a right to so many calories of food a day that you can eat. He's been in violation of all this stuff for decades. So he's been breaking the law, but not paying for it. Yet he expects everyone else who's breaking the law to suffer these consequences. So he should be held accountable under, under the same law that he expects everyone else to be. But you know, he thinks he's above it all. Judges, newspapers, newspapers that have made um, bad press about him. He's had the owners arrested and thrown in his jail. He's had judges <coughs> who've made court decisions against him, houses raided. It's like proper Gestapo tactics. Yeah, I don't understand how, a fed how federal law, how, how a state official um, can be above federal law. I don't understand. It's checks and balances. The state laws and the federal laws are supposed to balance each other out. But it creates pockets of power for certain people. I can kind of clarify that. States are allowed to govern themselves on a certain amount of things. Mm -hmm. um, variances in taxes, for instance. Some states have zero sales tax. Other states have 9 or 10 percent sales tax. They're allowed to make those decisions. Um, school taxes, things like that. Lots, lots of it is finances. But when it comes down to the running for the prison, there are no federal prisons that are managed by an overwhelming government, say the president's office, yeah, or people that are right answered to him. The exactly. Right to federal, they're so they're, they're yeah, to yeah, yeah, but they're answerable within their own state. Joe Arpaio has power because he deals with Bush, so he's kind of higher up, as you would say. But in a lot of other states, they just, it's very insular. The things that happen in those states and the way they deal with those people, it's completely separate and insular from anything that the, the major, you know, the major, like, like the MPs in Parliament, they would have no say as such as to how that was governed. Obviously, yes, it was in terms of human rights and stuff, those are problems, but unless they feel like they want to step in, they have to, he, when he said checks and balances, there's a very big majority of people in America who are absolutely horrified at central government control in America. They want them to stay <coughs> in things. They want as much autonomy within where they live as possible. And they're very militant about it. You know, down to like the gun carrying people, you know, ranting about the government interfering within their rights. And because there's such a high majority of people like that in the states, a lot of the things like that that go on get lost over because the government chooses as a government as a whole not to interfere with local things because they don't want to get people up in arms about them being too controlling. It's terrible. I mean, yeah. so they get away with things like that because of that. Yeah.